Oh, they're so cute. They're having so much fun. What the hell? Why? Why are they? Why are they doing that? Oh, they're so adorable. Look, they found some food. What the hell? They're killing. They're killing everybody. Arstatoria is a thing. Smile of the Arstatoria is a thing. There's that show. It exists. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> All I can think of is that smile of the Narsentoria in a nutshell before I get into my review is essentially, have you ever wondered what your gotcha characters are doing before you pull them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this show is. It's cute girls doing cute things with massive murk. I don't know what the point of the show is, but this is my review of the 12 episode series that aired in the summer 2022 anime season. So let's do something. Smile of the Arsatoria, the animation, essentially is two sides of a story. On one end, we have the magic academic city of Arshram, and then on the other hand, we have the knights that are trying to hunt down the mages, the, the flowers, I don't know. <laughs> For the most part, 95% of the show is basically watching these girls who are part of this academy, and they're essentially learning etiquette, they're learning to be ladylike, they're learning magic apparently, they're, they do magic at some point, never got to see much of it, and just be your basic academics. And they're all kind of just enjoying their life here. Every now and then they're assigned to go out and look for what they call bugs, which bugs are essentially these things that can bring about great disaster. These bugs seek out them, and if they don't get rid of the bugs fast enough, bad things can happen. And like I said, the other 5%, maybe less than that, is the perspective of all these really handsome, tall, very detailed looking guys that are all knights that are looking for heretics. They're going to different villages and they're slaughtering everybody, all for looking for what seems like these mages. It, it, that's about the, the gist that you get is that these guys are looking for these girls and these girls are hidden away in this magic academy, enjoying their life, all to prepare for the one day that they can no longer be hidden from society and that these knights will find them and probably kill them. But, <laughs> We never really see a connection. Um, there's at some point they imply in the show itself that they've fought the knights before, but we never really get to see anything. It's just every now and then you get a warning screen and you see the violence and then it jumps back to cute girls doing cute things. Because in the end, what it seems like this entire series is, is cute girls doing cute things with every now and then some information about the broader world that's trying to hunt down the cute girls doing cute things. So my thoughts on Smile of the Arsatoria, the animation. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Now, why? Okay. First off, it looks very beautiful. The characters look really fantastic. This is the same character artist as the one that worked on ReZero. They're very familiar character designs. They're all very unique, and I love them all. If anything I can give this show, it's character designs. I absolutely love the character designs. Just like I love the character designs of ReZero, I love them here. Even the male characters, very high detailed. A lot of really fantastic animation, especially for the massacres that are happening. <laughs> they put a lot of detail and a lot of effort into the animation in the series whenever it did count. But again, for the most part, this show is just these cute girls doing cute things. And that's where things kind of spiral downhill for me. Now, personally, I love cute girls doing cute things. I think I there's so many shows that I absolutely adore just them being cute girls, cute things. And they nail the cute girls part of this show. Again, the character designs. It's just the cute things part of it. It's not really there. It's literally just them existing. I, I argued at some point during this series airing that it's basically cute girls doing world building that's extremely boring. It's like everything they're doing is essentially trying to build the academy and build the mechanics of this world. But none of it really executes into anything. So it's kind of boring to watch. I think this being in line with you actually playing the mobile game that it's based off of probably works out really well. I would assume that most of this show is probably like random encounters and conversation between characters that's in the mobile game. Cut out all the combat, cut out all the story stuff, just focus on just the character interaction scenes. It's literally what it feels like because again, nothing that happens between the girls really has any real effect to the overall story. Now, yes, I, amongst any, many other people, and this is soft spoilers for anybody, I, amongst many other people, felt that at some point, the stories were going to merge or converge to each other, and you'd have that meeting. Everybody in our community, everybody was waiting for that moment that they would merge, and you'd have that final moment where suddenly things got dark. Again, 
soft spoilers never does. I don't, I want to make it clear for those that are okay with spoilers because I don't want anybody going into this expecting it's going to be dark because it seems like it's going to get dark. It never does. And I think for a lot of people, that was the draw. We were all waiting for that moment it was going to get dark and it never does. Again, it's implied stuff happened, but it never shows anything. So we put aside the mystery of the knights and them hunting down the heretics and the possibility of things merging. There's nothing really here because most of the interaction between the girls is talking about, oh, that crumpet's really tasty. Well, if you put jam on it, it's even more tasty. Well, let's put jam on it. Yeah, we have to open this jar first though. Oh, this jar is really difficult to open. Nobody can open the jar. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we finally got the jar open. Yes, this jam's really delicious. It's that kind of stuff. It's not clever writing. It's not clever chemistry. There's no punchlines to anything. It feels like, like I said, cute girls doing cute things without any sort of, it's just very bland. There's no flavor to any of the chemistry that's happening. When I think of cute girls doing cute things, I think of things like, is the order a rabbit? Three of these three colors. There's so many great shows out there where the sum of it is just Let's watch cute girls having fun and they nail it. But this one just doesn't do it. I made a theory at some point that this whole entire story of this animation was literally an analogy of the Western culture hating cute girls doing cute things. So they're sending the knights to kill the cute girls doing cute things. <laughs> at the same time, because they're writing the story and they hate the cute girls doing cute things, they don't know how to write the cute girls doing cute things. So all that stuff doesn't work. So again, if you're looking for really fantastic character designs and cute girls, you're going to find them here. If you're going to look for substance or anything intriguing or mystery, you're not going to find it here. In the end, nothing felt satisfying. And I was really hoping for something to really happen in the end that made up for all this long, dragged out, boring interactions. I think one of the more interesting episodes was this final moment where you had the girls actually go outside of the academy and interact with the real world itself. It was intriguing. It was interesting. It actually had an element of wanting to know more about how these girls interact with the real world. It was interesting technically to see that the knights, as they were traveling around, it felt as if the cultures were changing, almost as if they were seeing a time jump. One time it felt very medieval times, and this other time it felt more modern times. But unfortunately, everything in between just kind of fell flat. Again, in the end, I feel like this is strictly for people that love the mobile game and they just want to see their characters they've pulled interacting with each other. Like I said, they're almost like video game character bonding scenes. Anyways, that's my thoughts on Smile of the Arsonist Toria, the animation. Check that out if that sounds interesting to you. I appreciate you checking out this video. As always, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button down below, comment. Let me know what's thought of this series if you're gonna be checking it out. Additionally, if you're new to the channel and you wanna get all my content, I would definitely appreciate if you hit that subscribe button so you can get it. I do news, reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. I'm also doing all reviews of all the shows at this current season, as well as first impressions of the following season here soon. Additionally, if you wanna support the channel more, we have a Patreon link, a tips link, and a super thanks button down below. I greatly appreciate everybody that considers, and y'all take care.